Hey folks, it's Jackie the Hot Tub Lady and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited you're here as always. Please make sure you give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button right over here. It helps me a lot and helps me help you become a happy hot tub owner. I do put out new content every Wednesday. Today's topic is actually a change of plans. I was going to talk about TVs outside, but I'm actually got to work in the service department this weekend. Obviously, I need to do a video on airlocks and draining your hot tub and getting them restarted. I'll be right back to cover that topic. We'll see you in just a minute. So hey guys, welcome back. I'm super excited you're here. Don't forget, hit that, forget to hit that thumbs up button so I can make you be a happy hot tub owner. This weekend, I got to work in the service department quite a bit because we were a little short staffed. Reoccurring over and over and over again because it was a super nice weekend here in South Dakota. We were about 70 degrees. A lot of people were changing the water in their hot tubs and I actually got this call quite a bit. They're, everybody was getting the error message and they're saying, oh, I just drained my hot tub or I need to clean the filters and I'm getting this error message on my hot tub. Every single one of them, and it was probably about 10 of them, was an airlock message. So basically, you're starving your circulation pump, you're, you're starving the pump. What is happening is you're draining the hot tub, you're filling it back up and then you're taking that hose and you're putting it in the foot well and not in the filter compartment. But when you do that, you fill the hot tub back up you fire flip the breaker fire it back up the circulation pump is starving and so you're it's, it's kicking into error message because it's not pumping any water i had a couple other people call and they're like oh hey i'm just checking my hot tub for the first time in a while we're not it's i'm getting this error message well and i would ask them do you have enough water in the hot tub and their response was oh yeah there's plenty of water in the hot tub and then i'd ask them to send me a video you'd have the pump level or the filter where the filter goes and that skimmer wear that bounces up and down the water was below that, and if it's below that, the water can't get into that filter area, and if it can't get in that filter area, again, you're starving the pump and you're creating an airlock. So it's really important that you keep your water level up to the pillows, right at the pillow mark, and when you're refilling, and I'll, I've done other videos on this, and I'll link it up, uh, videos on this, but it's really important that when you're refilling from a fresh state, and a fresh state only, you wanna put your hose inside the filter compartment and typically on the hot springs tubs it's the one with the gray standpipe but you need to get that hose down in there as far as you can and fill it from that state now if you're filling from a tub that already has water in it you need to actually fill that in the foot well because if the the cold water against that hot water it might actually put that hot tub into freeze protection mode but it's really important that you don't have that air bubble if you do get that air bubble there's a couple ways to try to fix that. One is actually just taking the hose and sticking it down that gray standpipe and running the water for another three or four minutes. That will actually help maybe push that out. If that doesn't work, we have had a few people pull the filter out, turn the breakers off, wait about 30 seconds, turn the breakers back on, hit the jet pump, and kind of repeat that cycle about 10 times. And you can kind of see where it's starting to push that air bubble out. If that doesn't work, you know, give us a call or you can actually try to, to call us for the third way to do it is what we call, um, we call it burping it basically is what we're calling it. But then at that point, I hate this. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I just hate taking panels off of a hot tub, but you have to take the, the front panel off and then you're going to actually loosen the union joints on the, on the pumps and you're just going to crack them just so there's a little bit of water coming out and then you're going to tighten them back up. That'll help force that air bubble out. It's, it's kind of a big deal, so it's just really important that when you get that air bubble or that airlock message, you want to get the water in through that circulation pump or through the pumps and get that going. So, Because I've seen this happen on both tubs with circulation pumps and tubs without circulation pumps. It's, it was a really common question this weekend, so I decided to change my video topic. I hope that's helpful. If you have any other questions, please refer to your owner's manual and don't forget to check out my other videos up here that does talk about how to drain, clean, and refill your hot tub. It is that time of year. If you haven't done it, you're, it's probably time to think about draining your hot tub. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. Give me that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button over here. Guys, I love you so much. And just remember, keep making life epic.